A new rumor from Daniel RPK suggests that Cal Kestis might be making his way into live action, possibly the Ahsoka show. We're going to talk about that and the huge implications this has for the Star Wars galaxy and not just the Star Wars galaxy, but the Disney era Star Wars galaxy. Hey everyone, it's Digital Charcuterie. Thanks for stopping by. Hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe and ding the bell to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Let's get right to it. Brock and I will talk about this a little bit more tonight on the Rebel Scum podcast, but at the Rebel Scum podcast channel. But according to Scooper Daniel RPK on his Patreon, a new Disney era Jedi that most people are in favor of will be making his way to live action cal kestis from jedi fallen order jedi survivor is the rumored character to be appearing in live action and that live action is not in a movie but on a disney plus streaming show leading us all to believe that that means a appearance in ahsoka season two skeleton crew is already done and or he i don't think he would fit in and or i think they're staying far far away from jedi on that show so ahsoka season two seems to be where cal kestis would leave but this has massive massive implications on the star wars galaxy as a whole and on disney star wars something i will get even further into in another video but this is exciting because cal kestis of course was a jedi who survived the horrors of order 66 and later became a formidable jedi knight cal's story is one of resilience growth and an ongoing fight against the remnants of the empire his potential involvement in Ahsoka's story could bring layers of narrative depth, considering the thematic parallels between the two characters and the broader galactic conflict they find themselves in. Of course, in Ahsoka, Ahsoka was tracking down Grand Admiral Thrawn, and she got to Thrawn, but Thrawn was able to get away from her and go back into the known galaxy where Ahsoka and Sabine and Shin Hati were stranded in the unknown regions. Thrawn, however, as you know, is an imperial threat from the old empire, something Cal Kestis knows much about. Cal, at this point in the timeline, would be a seasoned warrior with a strong sense of duty to protect what remains of the Jedi Order and oppose the Empire's influence. His skills as a Jedi and his knowledge of the ancient Jedi lore could make him an invaluable ally to Ahsoka Tano in her quest, and more importantly, possibly Ezra Bridger, a compelling reason for Cal's presence in Ahsoka Season 2 could stem from the shared enemy Thrawn. Cal, having fought against the Empire and its Inquisitors in his own journey, would likely be aware of Thrawn's reputation as a, as a master strategist and a dangerous figure in the post-Empire galaxy. Ahsoka, being a former Jedi herself, might seek out or cross paths with Cal. Somehow, they could maybe track each other down through the unknown regions. Maybe there's more Purgles at play. Given that Cal has spent years searching for artifacts, exploring hidden Jedi temples, and preserving the Jedi legacy, his knowledge could prove vital to uncovering Thrawn's plans. The bond between Cal and Ahsoka could be strengthened by their shared experiences. Both were deeply affected by the fall of the Jedi Order, and both characters have navigated the complex battles between light and dark in their respective journeys. Ahsoka's reluctance to fully identify as a Jedi contrasts with Cal's efforts to preserve the Jedi way, and this difference in perspective could create interesting dialogue and character dynamics. Cal's youthful determination might reignite Ahsoka's sense of hope, while Ahsoka's wisdom and experience could serve as guidance for Cal, who is still grappling with the weight of his role in a galaxy that has turned its back on the Jedi. Cal's appearance in Ahsoka Season 2 would not only be a logical narrative choice, but also an exciting opportunity to deepen the interconnectedness of Star Wars. His unique blend of determination, Jedi heritage, and experience fighting the Empire would make him a valuable ally to Ahsoka in her quest to protect the galaxy from threats that linger in the shadows. And those shadows could be what Balin Skull is searching for in another post from Daniel RPK this summer, suggesting that Ahsoka Season 2 is casting a character known as Abeloth. And above all there seems to be even greater implications at hand here. So you, you'd have to get them to meet, which means that Ahsoka would have to leave the unknown regions and get back to the known galaxy, which I think is going to happen. But there's going to be a larger threat. The meeting between Cal and Ahsoka might not even happen in this season. We don't even know if Ahsoka will be associated with the main galaxy in season two. We know that Ezra's there. We know that Thrawn's there and the Witches of Dathomir are there. But the one lingering 
threat that remains on the unknown regions, way, way out there, is that of Balen Skull and Shin Hati. What are they up to? What is going on there? I had a video come out last night about Shin Hati, and I'm going to have one about Balen Skull coming out later as well. That's going to talk about this and why the implications now, the implications of bringing in Cal Kestis are going to be massive. I think what's happening here is Disney is taking us on a new, Lucasfilm. Disney Lucasfilm is taking us on a new trajectory. They're setting a course away from the sequel trilogy. The sequel trilogy is a Skywalker saga, and they are holding on to that. They've held on to that since day one. They've been very much, this is the Skywalker saga. And it came to an end. And now the way it's been received, and again, maybe in 20 years, the fans, you know, the kids who watch it now will revere like, like the, the OT and the prequel trilogy kids do theirs. But for the time being, these movies, they have divided fans. It's been very divisive. People haven't been in love with them so much. The Ray movie, they can't even figure that out. It looks like they are taking Star Wars on a new trajectory, on a new path. That path is going to be led by Mandalorian and Grogu. And that movie is coming out. And that is going to be like Star Wars 1. That is going to be their starting point, And we're going to move on. And so while the Skywalker saga zigs, this one's going to zag. And we're going to have a story that runs parallel in the timeline with the Skywalker saga, but there's going to be new threats. There's going to be new characters. There's going to be new action and new adventure. And so when they say, you know, he, that boy is our, our only hope, guess what? He is because that's the Skywalker saga. That affects them. It's the Shivp, Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker family that, that they're referring to. This is how they're going to get around it, that they're referring to. This other stuff is going sideways. We are going parallel to the skywalker saga and in doing so now you can go anywhere you want you don't have to make your ray movie if you don't want to make your ray movie which i still think i don't know how you how they can't figure that out but whatever so you don't have to do that now have an open playbook your sketchbook is is blank blank canvas you can do whatever you want now you have your characters they've flown from rebels that you can bring in you have your characters from mandalorian and grogu that you can bring in and now they can just go on for eternity in this Star Wars timeline. And it can take us beyond the sequel trilogy. It can take us to the sequel trilogy. But I think we're going to run parallel with it. And there's going to be a brand new threat, a much larger, greater threat that is actually going to be more in line with George Lucas's sequel trilogy ideas than with the Disney era one. It's not going to be totally George Lucas sequels. Don't get me wrong. I still think if George Lucas made his sequels, people would have hated them. But I think we are going to get something closer to George Lucas version of Star Wars. The reason I say that is because of the Clone Wars and Dave Filoni. And Dave Filoni will be front, will be head heading this project now, obviously overseeing what is going on. Whether you like that or not, that's up to you. So I think the implications are great. You bring in Cal Kestis. Now you are intertwining your video games with your shows. And all of a sudden now this, this can and connecting is making more and more sense. But what are they ultimately getting to? And what they are what they're getting to. There's going to be a threat. The Thrawn threat is there, but the Thrawn threat isn't the final threat. That is not the end game of the new Star Wars trajectory. There's something greater, and that lies within Balin Skull. They hit, they hit lightning in a bottle with Balin Skull and Shin Hati. Those two characters were fantastic. I don't know anybody who disliked either one of them. I think some, you know, I think the way they was kind of mad, really fleshed out, but. I think not knowing their backstory, not knowing where they're going, but just kind of knowing that they're on this mission, on this search, is a great starting point. And what are they searching for? And is Balen Skull a pawn in something larger at play? Searching for the Mortis Gods, searching for something mystical within the Force. Cal Kestis can bring in some of that knowledge. Ezra Bridger has some of that knowledge. Ahsoka has a lot of that knowledge now with the world between worlds. Where are we going? Do all roads lead to Abeloth in this? And is that where the new Star Wars trajectory is taking us? I'm going to talk about that in another video. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Let me know. Cal Kestis, live action. Are you in? Are you out? Do you think that Star Wars is zigging and when they should, when they used to zag? Do you think that's happening? Are we running parallel with the sequel trilogy? So they can acknowledge that, that those events are still taking place, but there's something else happening on this side of the galaxy that we're going to focus on for the time being. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be, may you be, may the force of others be with you.